Okay, so, so now I gotta replace this because look at this. It's all sticky from the heat. It's all deteriorated over the years. It's just falling right off. So what I'll do is I'll cut some new pieces. Let's see, that's gonna go like that. With a triangle piece. And then we'll do this one. I replaced all the foam inside here, over here. I replaced all this. Got it replaced on both sides. All right. Okay, we're gonna clean this up, get it all, <clears throat> get all degreased. Now we'll replace these two pieces. This one kind of looks like a sailboat, so I'll be able to run that right over like that. Cover this piece up right here. And then we'll push this one, and it'll go right back where it was. There. Got the soundproofing back in there. Better than it was. All right, on to the next piece. Cleaned up nice. So I'm just gonna pull this off and check those, uh, those three slides to see if everything's good and then I'll just clean it. See how this is. Just want to clean all this up where these where these slide. And then you want to keep an eye on these. <clears throat> you don't want to mix them. But see see how dirty they are. And then they got your your weight inside there that you can take out, change. If you wanted to go in and check the the spring, then you take uh, you take these three screws out right here. Take that off. Well, these these clutches are really uh, they're bulletproof, really. So I went through and cleaned everything, scuffed up the, got it all roughed up, cleaned it with a old piece of scratch, right, just to kind of scuff it up a little bit. 
and I just took a clean rag and wiped all the oil off it with the brake clean. <clears throat> so when you reassemble this, you got to look for, there's a V right here. So if you look right here, there's a V. And when you take these apart to clean them, I marked them. So I put like a two lines, one line, and three lines. So when I took them out, I was able to put them back because you're going to want, there's a balance. So now you look for this V. There's another V right there. So what you do is you drop these and you line them up. You line up these two V's and then you drop this on it. And I don't know if there's anything that really marks the cover, the cover or not. Once you drop the cover on it, locks it locks these two and two halves. But here's the other V. Right there. So you want to line those two up, and then when you drop this on, there. Now they're both lined right up. And then you can put your nut back on your washer <clears throat> once I get <clears throat> once I get this on the on, it mounted back on I'll torque this and this uh, the center bolt that goes into the uh, crankshaft so we'll, we'll torque both those. I'll give you the uh, torque specs. So now we got to do the secondary. We have to clean that up. Uh, usually when you turn this, it snaps back, but she must be gummed up. Because when I turn it, it doesn't go back. So and to pull it apart. Remember that uh, the spring is in the number two position, so we can't forget that. Let's see, it'll, see if it'll come out gentle, gentle like. Oh, look at that. Nice. Let's wipe this off a little bit.
We'll get her cleaned up. There's a, there's a spacer. Get all this cleaned up. We'll get it this cleaned up. This all cleaned up. Then I'll get back to you. What the? Polish her all up so she slides nice, nice and smooth. So this has has an A, B, and C down in there, and that's where you'll put your spring, whether you put it in, in B, A, C, just remember where that comes out. This one was in B, and then it was in the number two, so we got to do B, two.